Hey everybody, this is Naru, uh, back again with another Lego build video. I do apologize for the lack of content on this channel lately. Um, it's been really busy with work and everything else in life, so um, I'll try to get some more content going here pretty quick. I already have, I think I've got this, this Lego set to build for you today, and then there are at least two more sets I have, I just, I, I haven't put them together yet, so. Um, and I've also got two more Loot Crate uh, openings for you as well. I just haven't, I just haven't opened them yet. I, again, lack of, lack of time to, to do so. Um, but anyway, I hope you enjoy the build today. I'm happy to bring this to you. Um, I was kind of excited to get this particular kit because I'm a fan of the new Spider-Man um, movies. Well, by movies, I mean, obviously, the debut of uh, the new Spider-Man, Tom Holland, in Captain America Civil War, and then, obviously, the Homecoming movie that is the standalone movie. So, um, let's get into this. So, this is a the Marvel superheroes Beware the Vulture uh, uh, kit. It's a 375-piece kit, it's Lego Kit 76083, and like I said before, it's from the newer Spider-Man Homecoming movie. I actually own this movie. Um, uh, I like it quite a bit. I especially like how um, Michael Keaton played the Vulture. Um, I, I like Michael Keaton a lot. I've liked him uh, forever. Um, he, he's, I just think he's a great actor. But anyway... Um, so we'll just get right into this again. This is a brand new build. You can still see this is taped shut. Uh, I've been, I always do these fresh, brand new, uh, unopened, uh, you know. I think I picked this kit up on Amazon. I think this is like a 20 or $30 kit, and I think I got it for like 15 bucks. So not a bad price per brick. Um, it's got four mini figs. It's got the Shocker. The Vulture, Iron Man, which I, I love Iron Man. Iron Man is my favorite um, Marvel uh, superhero. Um, and then obviously Spider-Man there on the end. So, um, all right, so let's just get into this. I'm probably not going to do a lot of talking. I'm not going to show the pages from the instruction book. If you want to follow along with the build, um, you can probably find a, a PDF of, of the specific kit we're putting together today. So... I would just uh, probably pull one up online. I'm not going to go page by page and show you, just for sake of, you know, to speed things up. So, like I said, brand new kit, never been opened. Let's see what we've got. Okay, looks like... Goody, more decals. <laughs> Everybody knows my, my take on decals. Not a big fan of those. This is interesting. It looks like we have two instruction books. I'm assuming one's for Vulture, yep. And the other is for everything else. I'm just going to show you that real quick. So it tells you book one, and it's a little bit smaller of a book. It's more of a rectangle, and then you've got the bigger book, book two, more than likely for everything else. The, yeah, it's for the truck. Okay, so, set these off to the side, let's see what all we've got. Another little mini book. Okay, this looks like a mini Lego comic book, and it is. That's kind of funny. This is, um, oh, it's a, t it's a double issue. <laughs> That's kind of funny, so... It's a Lego Superheroes from Thor Ragnarok. I actually saw that a few months ago for the first time. I like that movie a lot. I wasn't sure how I was going to like it, uh, but I, I did enjoy it. And then if you flip the comic book over, then you've got a different one with Spider-Man and Vulture. So that's kind of neat. I like that they put that in there. It's kind of a nice, that's a nice touch. That's interesting. Boy, these books are oof, really bent up, but that's okay. 
So we've got three part bags. A one, a two, and a three. Let's get right into book one. Let's see. Okay, and we're starting with bag one. Stack that there for the time being. Try to close this up as good as we can. Set this back here so we can kind of keep an eye on it. So if you feel like it, comment below. Let me know what you think of the new Spider-Man. Does he live up to the hype? Do you like him? Do you hate him? Are you excited for more Spider-Man movies? Uh, personally, for me, I, I do like him. I thought he I thought he did good. I liked him a lot. So I, I'm definitely looking for more. Looking forward to more Spider-Man uh, movies. And then obviously he's in the new Avengers movie too. I just saw that probably about a month ago. The first of the, uh, Infi the Infinity War movie. Pre pretty good movie. Um, I'm not going to do any spoilers. I just... I'll let you, I don't want to ruin it for anybody if somebody hasn't seen it. But uh, I, I, I enjoyed it. It was pretty good. Thanos was pretty cool. Little web shooters, I guess. Those look kind of weird a little bit, but they work. That or they're supposed to be punching like gloves or something. I'm not real sure, but there's Spider-Man. So there's a lot of detail on this minifig. I like I like how they did this one. You can really, if you, I don't know, it's kind of hard to see, but his face is very, um, there's a lot of detail in the face and the, the outfit. That's pretty cool. Like that. That's neat. Okay, so I guess the way these little things work is you Oh, oh wow. Okay, so <laughs> I just literally shot that across the room. So as you, I'm gonna see if I can hit the phone with, or my camera with this. You basically, so there you put them in his hands and they're, they're bent, sh they're kind of a curved shape and you just basically press the side of it and it shoots them. Okay, that's, that's pretty cool. I like that. All right, now, now I gotta go, <laughs> now I gotta go pick them up because I, I put them across the room basically those are kind of neat I like that that's uh, I, I mean I know I say it pretty much in every video but man Lego just gets it man they they know how to put out some quality kits that are fun you know for everybody And it looks like Spider-Man has just like a bunch of accessories here. It looks like he's got a little, uh, like this little web deal. I'm not real sure what we do with this yet. The book, the book hasn't really described that. Um, spread some of this stuff out. It looks like he has a little, um... Oh, and he's got, uh, like a string here that's supposed to be his web, so that's kind of cool. I like that. His little web whatever. And it looks like he has this little... I'm not real sure. Because I don't see it yet. Here. Unless this is it. It might need a decal, but maybe not. I don't know. It looks like he has a little, like a little uh, cell phone or something, but I, I guess this is it. It's not very, 
Oh wait, unless this is it. Ah, here it is. That's kind of neat. So that's just a little flat two-piece brick, but it looks like a cell phone. That's kind of funny. I'll set that there by him. So I like that he has accessories. That's neat. I don't have any other minifigs in the kits I've built here lately for the, this YouTube channel that have any uh, accessories aside from Batman and the Joker. Um, the Joker, of course, he had the, um, the, the cloth uh, trench coat. And Batman had the cape and the utility belt and uh, bat, uh, the Batarang. That was pretty neat. I like that. Okay, so we're going to assemble, let's see, where is his, where is his body? We're gonna, it looks like we're going to put the Vulture's body together now. Boy, a lot of these pieces really blend in together. Makes it a little difficult to piece things out. The detail on the vulture is very cool. Oh, I saw his legs here just a second ago. Where did they go? Here we go. The only thing I'm not real wild about is his helmet. It's cool looking, so he's got, you know, a scowl on his face, he's a bad guy. But the helmet, it doesn't give you any the helmet looks good, but it doesn't look like a helmet. I don't know. Or it doesn't, I mean, I guess it's as I guess it's as detailed as it would be from the movie. It's just kind of like, eh. Set him right there. I don't know. It's a little disappointing. I guess I was expecting something else. Something a little a little better than that. Still kind of cool. I, I dig it. I swear, you can look at some of this stuff and not... Wow, I am really not seeing what I need here. Oh, there it is. It was off to the side. Go figure. I hope everybody had a good Thanksgiving. Ours was a bit chaotic, but good nonetheless. It's good to see some family. It's nice to have the day off from work and then obviously had um, Black Friday off. That was nice. I didn't really do any shopping because I don't know, I, I kind of got burnt out on the whole getting up at the crack of dawn thing to go out and sh go shopping, like, long back. Um, you know, I, you know, great if, I don't mind if other people like to do it. It's just really not for me. Hasn't been for kind of a long time. But hey, you know what, if you like to do it, by all means... So this is basically the start of the vulture's like backpack or his um his wings like pack. I kind of wish they had not mangled the um instruction book as bad in the box just because it doesn't want to lay flat. And uh, it's kind of annoying. Okay, and it looks like we're putting some decals on. Not really a big fan of the decals. I never have been. I don't feel like this is pure Lego. I get why they do it, I just, 
for me personally, I'm not really into decals. These are interesting just because they're they're transparent. There's really no way for me to show you that, but basically, um, when they go on, you can see through them a little bit. Not entirely, but some of it. That's kind of neat, because that really lets the color of the brick kind of do the... Uh, um, do what it's supposed to and show some of the detail. Okay. Still moving along here. And hopefully everybody has a good Christmas coming up. What is that, like two weeks from now? It'll be here before we know it. I didn't wasn't expecting it to get to get here so quick honestly kind of surprised me a little bit how quick it creeps up you know especially right after Thanksgiving it just feels like bam we're right at Christmas time. This is kind of neat. Wow, the wings on this will be really emotional, like, poseable. I like that. That's pretty cool. We haven't really, we haven't really done a lot, and this thing's already really neat looking. Very, very cool. I like these little armor plating looking things. Those are kind of cool. Very, very neat. Do 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 do. Assuming these little round pieces are just to give this thing some rigidity. So that way when you flap his wings or move them and pose them and what have you, it can uh,
this thing is really looking pretty neat. Oh, I guess I didn't realize they want you to bend that all the way in. Good thing I caught that there just now. That's kind of neat because it kind of gives it the appearance that it has um, fe the feathers, even though they're metal blades in the movie. That's kind of neat. Dig that. And then... That guy hooks on... Oh, you know what? I don't think I put this together right. Ooh, no, I didn't. That's okay. Quick fix. I think I thought I saw something different. Boy, sometimes these are super hard to get to come off. Oh, no, there we go. So it looks like I did this wrong. It's not supposed to be those, it's supposed to be, I guess, this thing. Oops, my bad. Paying attention for the win, right? <laughs> it's okay though, quick fix, no big deal. There, you can't even tell, can't even tell I messed up. It's kind of looking pretty cool. And these are very poseable, so coming along nicely. And then it looks like we're just putting the other wing together now. I guess if I had gotten a little farther along, I would have probably realized that I'd put the wrong piece in here anyways, because I wouldn't have had enough of the other one. And then I would have been like, oops. Oopsie doopsie.
Okay. And then we'll just attach this to the other side. So it looks like now we've got his whole backpack mostly assembled. Oh, and it's got little shooters in them. That's kind of neat. Wow, those really shoot pretty good. That's kind of neat. And those just mount here on the back. That's pretty cool. And then obviously you'll have some extras. And then we hook him on here. That's pretty darn cool. Try to kind of show you guys what this looks like. Now that it's complete. Yeah, and I like how the the feathers of the vulture wing or whatever it is he calls this thing are completely poseable okay so now he's hooked to this thing see him he's he's kind of here in the middle and you can kind of see how poseable the wings move the big part of the wings move front and back and then on the back of it these can go anywhere i'd probably pose them outwards like that and you can turn them they're fully movable. Because these are kind of, I guess, his stabilizers. They're almost like the jet engine things that he kind of swoops in on with. Very cool. Very, very cool. Probably just leave all these flat for right now, just so I don't mess anything up. And then he's got the little, the little shooters right here. So no, that's pretty cool. This kit, this kit's already, I'd say, well worth, you know, whatever it is that costs you. I wonder if I can make these kind of let prop him up. That would be nice. Okay, yeah. So he's he can be propped up here. Kind of make some room here. Yeah, I like that. That's cool. Okay, so pretty much that's. That's the first of two books. We've got a few spare parts here. Just kind of keep those off to the side. Okay, and that's book one. Pretty cool little, uh, already kind of like a mini build, sort of in the bigger build. I like that. Okay, so step one is gonna be half the truck and the shocker character. Step two, or bag three, is going to be um, Iron Man and then the rest of the truck. So, got a lot of pieces here. not even done. Okay. Yike. <laughs> Just trying to put the head on, my goodness. Huh. 
put his head on backwards. <laughs> Whoops. and he's got his little power powered fist somewhere up right here that's pretty cool I like that <laughs> that's neat those are those are pretty cool I like I like the way those are but, whoops. I can't help but throw stuff at myself. Wow. I like the way these uh, turned out. <laughs> so that's the shocker guy, and he's got his little powered fist boxing glove things. We'll set him right here. Whoa. I'm going to have to, like, tip his legs back so he's not so top-heavy. Okay, that's pretty neat. I like that. Start with this big old piece. My goodness. Okay. I didn't actually care much for his character in the movie, but he, he did okay. I can't think of the guy's name, but I've seen him in other things. Oh, excuse me. What is, um, just kind of to break up the monotony a little bit, what's everybody else's favorite superhero? Marvel superhero. Let's stay on, let's stay on track with what we're currently working with here. It's kind of curious what everybody's favorite, and you know, villains included too. Your favorite villain or, you know, just whatever. These need to be the, I guess the orange ones. Or is this the rear of the thing? No, they're the red ones. I 
I'd say mine is Iron Man. As far as villains go, um, it's easy with DC. I'm kind of a Bane fan. Um, he's always been my favorite. <clears throat> I don't really know why. I just I just always kind of liked them. I think I actually said that in when I was doing the Lego, um, that Joker getaway, balloon getaway kit. If memory serves me right. But yeah, I um I like Bane probably because. He broke Batman's back, for goodness sakes. I mean, he's, I don't know about anybody else, but I think he's probably done some of the, the most damage overall to Batman. And I like that because, uh, you know, Batman's not invincible. So it's nice to see somebody can actually hurt him, you know? Because he's always portrayed as, you know, this superhuman because of all what he can do but anyway enough about batman back to back to marvel um yeah i uh i don't know who my probably my favorite villain is maybe magneto just because he's so absolutely ruthless i i would probably go with him as my choice He's pretty cool guy. I like his abilities. Dude's definitely out for... <laughs> he's out for blood. we're just doing this one side first it's kind of interesting I'm not really sure why but we are Now, it looks like we need decal, another decal. Number one. I guess I got it where it needs to be. <laughs> I don't really feel like that decal adds a lot of detail to this build overall. And now it looks like we're doing the other side. That is, of course, if I can find the piece I need. Maybe. Let's put the decals back. Well, I was looking right at it.
Okay, that's interesting. We're actually putting an extra decal on this side. That's a little different. Okay, so it looks like we need decal number six. Or is that nine? No, that's got to be number nine. You know, I wonder if this was supposed to be on the other side and I just didn't see it. Because that is a very distinct possibility. I'm going to uh, back this up just a pinch and see if maybe I over nope wait no nope. we're supposed to put one on this side okay so we're still doing still doing it right that's good to know huh. I guess they just selectively put the decals around the the tr this truck so it kind of gives a little more of a um, little more realistic feel and look so yeah, I kind of get it Another decal, number eight. I think I got that one on there like a boss. Nailed it. Okay. Now it looks, excuse me while I adjust my chair pillow, looks like we're going to be assembling the front end of the car now, or the truck. Like the grill on the front. Kind of neat looking. That went together pretty quick. 
It looks pretty cool. Number seven. The license plate. Kind of cool how that just fits right on. So this is kind of what we're where we're at at the moment. We just put the front end on. It's pretty cool. Pretty, pretty, pretty cool. Although, wait a minute, I might have just messed that up. I did mess that up. I didn't put enough. One more of these each. There we go, now it's flush. As soon as I looked back down at this, I was like, wait a minute, something's not right. There we go. That's better. It so helps to read the instructions. So helps. Decals. Looks like number one. On this one particular piece, we're putting number 10. That just hooks to the back. Looks like we are coming to an end on the first half of the getaway vehicle. Yeah, 
because after I put these last few little pieces on, we're going to bag three. Okay, so there's, the, I'd say, the first half of the getaway vehicle. Okay, and then the rest of these are just spare parts. Bag three. That's interesting, they um, package the Iron Man helmet separately. It's very interesting, I wonder why they did that. Maybe because they were afraid it would scratch? I guess I could see that a little bit. Also interesting is his head is just this clear, transparent blue <laughs> thing. Kind of, kind of weird, a little bit. This is probably the minifig that I'm most interested in, just because I like Iron Man a lot. So, a lot of detail on this. Very cool. <laughs> I like how to in, to simulate him uh, flying. Is you just put these little little tube uh, pieces. I might have to turn this upside down. His hand. Yeah, there we go. That's pretty clever. I'm sure that this is probably in a, just a reiteration of something they've already done in a previous um, Iron Man build, but it's still very cool. I like that a lot. That's That's really neat. That's clever, I like that. So, he's got his little helmet on and then these little pieces make it look like he's flying. I'm gonna put him in the front because that's pretty, that's pretty darn cool. I like that a lot. Okay, so he's done. Now, looks like we're gonna work on the old undercarriage of the vehicle now. We need a lot of these. Six of them, to be precise. Yeah, I'd say of the kits I've built lately, the suspension on that monster truck kit that I built, that was really cool. I, I really enjoyed that, that little mini build. That was a really, really fun kit to put together. Um, would, would love to build another one like that. 
That was just super neat. like we need another decal. Number three. Can't forget the old steering wheel. I would assume that this would have to be to the right and not in the middle. It doesn't make any sense to have it in the middle. It's honestly kind of kind of hard to tell. I'm just gonna keep it to the right. It doesn't make sense to have the steering wheel in the middle of the truck, so whatever. We'll just do it that way, and if it's wrong, we'll come back and fix it here shortly. Not a big deal. Gotta have the old windshield. It looks like we're putting sticker 13 on said windshield. And the roof. Now what the heck is this thing? 
click, click. I guess they won't want you to hit yourself with it or something like that. There's that, and then there needs to be, what, a retainer thing on it? Okay. So, it looks like you push it through, and then catch it on the other side. Oh, no, no, I'm not doing this right. Yeah. Yeah, that's, no, I'm not. We're, okay, put one of these on first, then push that through, and then put one on the other side as well. Okay. And then this guy mounts into here. Okay, that's kind of neat. Like so. Okay. This looks like another outer panel that we're putting together.
then the flat panel piece, that's got number one on it. And then it looks like you anchor it on like so. Okay. Now for the other side. Same thing again. I'd say we are coming pretty close to the end of this particular build. The decal, number nice. Just hook this guy on here as well. And then I guess you just would leave it open like this normally. Now we need this piece. OK. 
guessing this is kind of like the back like panel or whatever. the little box got a little panel and then it looks like you do one of these on one of these I guess you just set it inside and put the lid on it And then I guess you just set these in here. They don't look like they attach anywhere that I can see. Do you do this twice or do you just put the one? Nope, you do it twice. Oh, yeah, I guess you don't put anything in the other box. You could, I guess. Or actually, no, you can't. There's not another like little piece for it. That's kind of too bad. That would have been kind of neat. And this one, I guess you just, you set it like on its side and then this kind of can just do whatever. I guess it kind of holds it. <laughs> okay, so now it looks like we're putting the tires on the wheels. I don't know why, but I get a lot of gratification from, I didn't realize that was glared like this whole time. I get a lot of gratification from putting the tires on the wheels and I really don't know why. I just find that to be a lot of fun. These tires are kind of stiff. They're not very flexible. They're really tough. A Little bit difficult to get those put on. But either way, they work. And then you just slide them. Whoa. Slide them on. Oops. Whoops. I guess that's that. Okay, now I see where all the little... These little guys go.
And then you have extras, of course. Oh, no way. This shoots? Oh, that is so cool. Okay, uh, that's awesome. So basically, once you load the little, um, these little, these little, little, oops, knocked Iron Man over. These little, um, tiny pieces on, if you rotate, okay, and he's got actual accessories, that's kind of neat. And you can swap out this back plate for this and give, I guess, Spider-Man something to stand on. That's kind of cool. And that's pretty much it. So I'm going to wrap this up really quick because this, this video has already run kind of a lot longer than I thought it was going to. Still, really, really fun little build. And we got some more spare parts here. Some backup pieces. Not a, never a bad thing. So basically what, what the instructions were talking about. So here's, here's the truck completed. And then this little cannon raises up. And if you rotate this little gear lever here, it, it shoots these. I'm not going to do it. I don't really want to make a mess everywhere, but that is really cool. And then you can kind of see the, the, the crates in the back. And this is a really cool little truck. And then when you're ready to store it, you just lower it down. I think you have to, well, maybe you don't have to take that out. No, you don't. Nice. And then you just kind of close it up. And then when you're ready to fight Spider-Man, the plank comes down, this opens up, and then this comes up. That's really cool. And then obviously you can put Shocker down in here. I don't know how well he'll sit in here with these massive Hulk hands. <laughs> I bet I could pro actually, and I could probably pop the windshield off too to make this a little easier. Yeah. Although I don't think, oh no, it totally works. <laughs> I've got him in there with his Hulk hands. <laughs> That's awesome. So you can kind of see him in there driving and then obviously the vulture spider-man's like trying to like catch up to him here iron man's swooping in like what's up and then this guy's kind of like vulture's like ah, you know he doesn't do that noise but um yeah like this is a really cool little play set like i wasn't really sure until it just kind of came together at the end the vulture by himself is is worth this kit this is a really fun minifig, because this minifig just became this huge thing. And he's got these these shooters up up here. So he's got a lot going on. Him and him and Iron Man can 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 get down and fight, you know, just by themselves. And then um and then you've got this whole this whole playset thing going on over here in the getaway car. That is really cool. Really cool, fun little build. I dig this. This is really fun. And then you, when you're done, or just whatever, you can close it up. And Spider-Man can be like Teen Wolf in it on the roof, man. Going like, all right, turn on the Beach Boys. Here I go. No, I'm kidding. But seriously, though, this is a fun build. This, this is worth the money. I, I don't care what it costs. Well, I do. I mean, you don't want to overpay. I mean, that that's not to be discounted in any way. But So this, th I'm going to wrap it up. This has been the Marvel Superhero, the Lego Marvel Superhero Beware the Vulture Kit, number 76083, 375 pieces. I'm Naru. I hope you enjoyed this build. I did. This is a great little build. You will have a lot of fun with this, a lot of accessories, a lot of little hidden things that just like, this thing is cool. Enough said. Um, do yourself a favor, go grab one of these during the holidays. I'm sure they're on sale. Um, not real, super expensive. Make this would make a great gift for any Lego builder, uh, or Marvel fan of any kind. Um, so yep, I'm Naru. Thank you for watching. Um, as always, um, subscribe if you're new to the channel. Um, thumbs up if you enjoyed it. 
uh, thumbs down if you didn't. And if you didn't like it, feel free to tell me in the comment. What comments below? What didn't you like? What can I do better? How can I bring you guys a better uh, Lego building channel? Um, again, thank you um, for watching. Have a great day. Have a good, safe Christmas. Hope you had a good Thanksgiving, and we'll catch you next time. Take care.